Hi, I'm Stephen Keller, and welcome to the first LumenVox video that's going to introduce you to speech recognition basics. We'll talk a bit about an overview of what speech recognition technology is, talk about some of the ways that it's used. We'll talk a bit about the difference between voice recognition and speech recognition, two similar terms that have a distinct meaning. And we'll also talk about some of the reasons you'd want to use speech recognition. So let's just get started by taking a look at an overview of speech recognition technology. So basically, the most important concept for speech recognition is it's just another input method, meaning it's a way for us to interact with a computerized system. Other input methods are things like a mouse and a keyboard or your telephone touchpad when you dial numbers on a telephone keypad, all interaction methods, input methods to interact with a computerized system. Speech recognition just lets you use your voice to interact with that kind of a system. So one important thing is that much like when you click a button with a mouse on a computer screen, well, the computer doesn't really know what your intent is in clicking it. You click a button and it responds according to its programming. The same thing is true with speech recognition. You say words, it recognizes the words that you say, and it responds as it's been programmed to do. It does not have artificial intelligence. It's not Star Trek. You can't carry on a conversation with your computer just quite yet. So sometimes people come into speech recognition with that little bit of a science fiction kind of misconception. They hope that I can carry on a natural conversation with my computer and it will perfectly understand me. No, it's an input method with the same limitations that all input methods have. And one of those big limitations is always going to be that speech recognition technology is only ever as good as the application that's built around it. You know, if you remember some early uh, point and click applications, early Windows applications, for instance, often confusing icons or strange behaviors when you click something, well, you wouldn't necessarily say, ah, oh, it's the fault of my mouse just because I, you know, when I click this, it doesn't work the way I expect it. Well, likewise, if you've had some bad experiences with speech recognition, it's quite possible that it wasn't necessarily the underlying technology so much as it was an early speech recognition application that wasn't really built to take advantage of the input method to its fullest. So some people do have some poor experiences with speech rec, and I think a lot of times it's just because there have been a lot of poor speech recognition applications in the past. It's more mature technology now, and we have a better idea of how to design good applications. And here at LumenVox.com, you will be able to find all sorts of examples of how to design applications well, including more videos in our video section. Okay. So speech recognition and voice recognition are two other terms that we, we kind of use a lot. And to most people, they're interchangeable. You'll see them used in the press completely interchangeably. And people who don't have a lot of experience in the industry will use both interchangeably as well. But within the speech recognition industry and within the academic circles, the scholars, the linguists and computer scientists who study these things, there is a pretty big distinction. Speech recognition refers to computers being able to understand the words that you say. It's translating sounds that come from my voice into predefined words to recognize. Voice recognition, on the other hand, is recognizing speakers based upon their speaking styles. We all have very distinct methods of speaking. That's how you know that your mom on the phone sounds different from your favorite radio talk show host, right? That you wouldn't confuse the two. Well, it's because we have sort of like fingerprints. Our voice is specific to us. And voice recognition technology allows computers to recognize the unique characteristics of our voice and match up speakers. It's used mainly for, say, biometrics, authenticating for security purposes, that kind of thing. Here at LumenVox, we do speech recognition technology. So we recognize what you said, which is speech recognition, not who said it. And that's voice recognition. So just important to keep in mind is some people come, sometimes come to us looking for voice recognition. Really, we do speech recognition. Now, what are some of the reasons you want to use speech recognition as an input method? What makes it better or different than other input methods? Well, first of all, of all it's more natural. You don't really have to be trained how to speak. In a sense, you're actually trained to speak from the very moment that you're born. People will start talking to you. You're expected to learn how to talk. And very, very quickly, we learn to vocalize what we want. Using a mouse and a keyboard or dialing a telephone keypad, on the other hand, not nearly as natural. So there's something that's just nice about using spoken language to communicate and interact with a system to say what we want rather than try and point and click or type in keys on a DTMF application. It's also convenient, especially for telephone applications. A lot, of, a lot of times when I'm on my cell phone, for instance, uh, I'm on the car with the mobile headset, and 
my cell phone's in my pocket. It's, it's on the dashboard. It's somewhere else. It's not near me. So if I call it my bank, um, you know, I, I can't necessarily key in my code. I can't type 5 for checking. It's not near me. It's inconvenient to look down while I'm driving and try and fiddle with it. Not the best thing in the world. So speech in those instances are great. It's very, very convenient. I have my headset on. I just say what I want. I don't have to worry about where my cell phone is. It's no longer the days where we're all sitting at a station, we have a handset, and here we have you know, keys right in front of us. So for a lot of people, speech is the best way to interact with systems for convenience. It's also great for you as the application designer because it'll let you really open up your applications, make them more easy for people to use, more user friendly. Think about certain prompts and questions you can have with speech recognition. You can't have with DTMF touch tone applications on the telephone. Let's say a directory assistance application. You need to know the city and state that someone wants a phone number for. Well, you can't type in a city and state, right? It's pretty hard to do. Maybe, maybe you can ask me to key in my, uh, my zip code or something. But here, I'm in San Diego, California. There's lots of zip codes in San Diego. I don't know, you know where one ends and the next begins. So it's kind of confusing. Whereas if you ask me what city and state, and I can just say San Diego, California, much easier to use. That sort of that sort of lets you expand beyond DTMF type applications. It's also nice because the menus can be greatly improved. You know, how often do you do this? You're using a DTMF application and you hear press two for this. And you think, okay, two, that sounds like what I'm looking for. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my head, but I'm gonna listen to the whole rest of the choices just to make sure there's not something better coming up. That's not convenient as a user at all. That's kind of frustrating. It extends the length of my call. It's not satisfying. With speech, I can just say what I want and I don't have to worry about which option is best. It's also nice because you can cut down the number of menus I have. A lot of times, uh, you have to you press two and then you have another prompt and you've got four choices and you press four and then you've got three choices. And uh, it's always kind of annoying because you can only ever have you know, 10 or 12 options in a given system that uses a touch tone keypad. With speech, I can have lots and lots of options from a single menu. I can have flatter menus. I don't just go through these annoying nests. So all of these are some good reasons why you want to use speech recognition. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about exactly how speech recognition works. I'll give you an idea of the technical process and give you a better idea of some of the technology that's going to be powering the speech recognition engine. Uh, you can go check that out, or you can also, I recommend, look around our website here at lumenvox.com. Just click up on the resource section at the top of the page, maybe look at some of our, our tips and FAQs to give you a better idea of some common questions that you have. So uh, good luck and welcome to speech recognition.